Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's weekly options watch list. Hopefully, you all had a wonderful weekend and are looking forward to getting back to trading. Here come Monday. So, before I get into the top stocks that I have my eyes on this week, I do want to do a quick market breakdown, like I always do, of the ES futures and kind of get um, a viewpoint of where we could see this market going this upcoming week. So, that being said, let's get right into it. So, if we look here at the ES, its overall trend is still to the downside. We are trending that way. We have no positively stacked DMA, but we also don't have any negatively stacked DMAs, which is kind of nice to see. So if we zoom in, we can get a kind of a clearer picture of what we could potentially see for this upcoming week. With the market falling below last week, the 21 EMA for two closes, and then once again rejecting it there on Friday, my Bias now is still to the downside like it has been. I've told you guys multiple times this trend is still very bearish and nothing about it has shown me that the bulls have come back in control and this market should go higher. This market should technically lower just based off of the structure. And if we look here, the reason we got this little pop was accompanied by this daily squeeze firing to the upside. It was short lived as it couldn't even touch the plus two ATR and it immediately kind of rolled over back to the downside and then if we look at the weekly time frame here let me clear this up a little bit we can see that all that did was a reversion back to that weekly 21 EMA and that is why we rejected at that level the weekly time frame here is still very bearish we're in a nice downtrend the squeeze histogram is still well below that zero line and we have bearish momentum um, along with it. So I do think we easily could go retest these lows. Here I'll go back to the daily time frame so it's easier to see. We do have a strong support around that 3600 region. So that's going to be the key region for me this week to keep my eyes on to see if it goes and retests that or if we can reclaim that 21 EMA and make another move higher, then I will change from being bearish to being more bullish. But I ideally still want to see a weekly close above that 21 EMA for the potential trend to actually be changing to the upside, upside instead of the downside. So key levels to keep your eyes on are the retest of these lows or more closes above that daily 21 EMA. Okay, so now that I did that breakdown, let's get into the top stocks that I'm looking at for the upcoming week. And the first one here is going to be FedEx. So if we look here, FedEx has had an extremely large gap to the downside, and now it has been consolidating, consolidating, kind of taking in that big move, which I believe it is waiting to make its next big move here with this squeeze that has been setting up. So if we zoom in even a little more, ideally want to see FedEx be trading above its 21 for a 21 EMA for a long entry, but its short entry actually doesn't look too bad here just due to its overall trend. It has those negatively stacked EMAs. Its price action has continually rejected now that 21 EMA back down to the downside, and this squeeze could give it the power to make another move lower. That being said, though, I do like that huge gap to the upside right around, what is that sitting at? Now we'll just call it 203. And if FedEx can reclaim the 21 EMA, I do think that this could start to make its next leg higher. As long as the market does not continue to sell off, then FedEx, of course, will sell off as well. And that's why I like FedEx a lot, because you could either play this one to the upside, depending if it can reclaim that, or to the downside, um, if it can't reclaim that level. So that's why I like FedEx a lot, because this one will offer you a trade either to the upside or the downside. Next one here is going to be UNP to the downside. You can see its overall trend is very bearish. If we zoom in a little bit here, we can see that we have those negatively stacked EMAs. Its price action has been rejecting that 21 EMA here perfectly. So we have the rejection here, all of these rejections in here. And then once again on Friday, it could not reclaim that level. We do have the daily squeeze. It has bullish momentum, so ideally want to see that bullish momentum go away before entering a trade on this one, and we want to see it continually rejecting that 21 EMA, and if it can do that, I think it would be um, a nice trade if you could retest these lows back down here at 185, so this one, in my opinion, does look very solid to the downside. 
And then last but not least here, I only have uh, three top stocks I'm looking at this week. I'm trying to narrow down a lot of the stocks I'm looking at just to kind of focus on a few and really get a good picture of what those stocks are doing. So if we look at UPS here, very similar to UNP in its structure. Um, those negatively stacked DMAs continually rejecting the 21 EMA, but I like this one a little more compared to UNP due to it already losing that bullish momentum on the squeeze histogram. This should then be accompanied by further breakdown here and with it rejecting this 21 EMA on Friday, I think you could easily once again, similar to UNP, go retest those lows around 155. So these are the top three stocks that I'm actually keeping my eyes on for the upcoming week. Hopefully it gives you all a few other things you can keep your eyes on as well. And let's go out there on Monday and start making some money, everybody.